Hello, and welcome to Resident Evil 4. Ooh, you can change your attaché case, like the customization case menu at any time. Okay, so we can customize stuff at the typewriter. Gotcha. Right, so Resident Evil then. I have played, I think now I've played, I started with Resident Evil 5 on the PlayStation 3. I'd heard that Resident Evil's quite good, I'm assuming that it probably got that notoriety, unsurprisingly, from the original Resident Evil 4. So, I tried a demo, played Resident Evil 5, loved it, bought it, played it, tried 6, uh, after that I got 6, it was fine, but I hear Resident Evil, the fans really hated 6. The problem is I joined on 5, so to me Resident Evil always was a third person co-op uh, sort of survival horror shooter thingy. But apparently up until up until 4, right, all of them were single player, every single one, sing, single player, 4 included in that, 5 was the first one to be co-op. And six, I just thought, well, this is normal. They've been caught before, except I guess this one's a bit more actiony. Five was already fairly actiony. So, of course, I didn't realise at the time, because having not played the originals, it was normal to me. Everyone else, no, no, no. This, this, this is, this is, um, this is wrong. It was. Actually, in, enough on five, even a bit too much then, and we didn't really like it. And now with six, it's just crazy. And then they went back to its roots, sort of, with seven, which I also played. And they've seemed to have gone to more of a first person horror, trying to emulate things like amnesia and uh, alien isolation, those sort of things. Because ho horror has seemed to evolve since they first made the original game. Uh, Resident Evil is kind of the. Uh, uh, one of the genre defining games and it seems like it kind of got behind the curve so they revamped the whole formula with seven and it worked um, it really worked and eight same thing uh, and I've played both you can see eight on the channel if you want to see me play through that while I was waiting for Resident Evil 8 of course I went and played the Resident Evil 2 remake I've played the DLC add-on for Dead by Daylight <laughs> <laughs> that adds uh, Resident Evil characters, both DLC chapters as well, and I've even played through the Resident Evil 3 remake and very much enjoyed the Resident Evil, uh, what was it, the Resistance multiplayer mode. And I have also played through, can't forget, spin-off, Resident Evil Raccoon City, which was more multiplayer-centric. It had a fairly forgettable campaign. But it was... Um, I thought it was a good attempt at, an, at a multiplayer mode. They've been trying to create a Resident Evil multiplayer mode for a while now. Anyway, that's my background on the franchise. So I know a bit of what I'm doing. What have we got then? So, assisted. Aim assist is active. Create more ammo when crafting. Recover some health. When in danger, low prices for certain items. Game mode can be changed to assisted at game over. For players who have not played Resident Evil 4. Stronger enemies and harder challenges. Higher prices for certain items. Hmm. I haven't played Resident Evil 4. But I have played previous Resident Evils. Mm hmm. I'll give it a go. It looks like I can't change it from hardcore to standard though, because it doesn't say I can. I'll give hardcore a go. We'll try it. If I'm struggling, I can always ch uh, change it back. Right, so I'm looking forward to trying this because this is, this is, it's not quite, it's one of the ones that got away. It was a bit before my time, but only just. 
Now subtitles are on, they should kick in in a moment I guess, when they start speaking English. As opposed to Cthulhu chanting gibberish. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time it can be different. It has to. So tell me, Yankee. Why did you come to this horrible place? As close to nowhere that I've ever seen. Let's just say, looking for someone. That someone must be very important then. The chief gave the orders himself. Help him, he said. I'm sure your boys didn't come all the way out here to roast marshmallows. <laughs> Maybe you did. You have a strange sense of humor. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, just between us. A lot of people have gone missing around here, and it's been that way for a while now. Well then, should be just another day in the office, right? Mm. I mean, last week there was a search for some missing hikers. I'm sure you'll do your best to help me. <laughs> Your calls, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Qué frío. ¿Te has bebido el bar entero? <laughs> you smoke? He sure is taking his time. Did he fall in? Maybe you better go and take a look. Oh, what's the car? Wouldn't want to get a parking ticket. It sounds like I'm about to be in. Come on, send me in, coach. Is this when the camera pans out and we get the controls to uh, pop up? It looks like it is. Uh, the century long cutscene is over. Okay, we're in. So it looks like we're somewhere in Spain or thereabouts. Or at least somewhere where they speak Spanish. Which, that will usually mean we are probably either somewhere in South America or we're in Spain. 
Now, given that we're an American, because we're playing as Leon, um, I'm assuming then that we're probably more likely to be in South America. I doubt whoever whoever's being kidnapped has been taken all the way into Europe and to, uh, to Spain. Moreover, I don't know there being many, you know, spooky swamps and things in Spain. It looks more like, yeah, probably somewhere in America this. Well, you know, the continent of America. So that's what I'm guessing. butchering tools and shovels and that okay quest over we've found the bodies <laughs> they're in these bags here <laughs> right Ooh. bit of lag it's probably loading the interior and it's auto saving that's not a good sign <laughs> It does look gorgeous, I'll admit. Oh, weird Blair Witch style icon thing. Right. Judgment is nigh. Wonderful. And this is not a door, it's a wall. Right. Well, that's that's certainly a door. Something, something gibberish. Let's try the non-spooky door. That's full of bear traps. Now, his eyes didn't look right. So I am uh, pretty much just assuming at this point that that stew he's making there <laughs> might have a extra ingredient. <laughs> that is a kick. <laughs> this is not good. You don't say, Leon. So by the way, if you're new to the franchise, um, we will be playing as Leon. I wouldn't eat that. Man, that stinks. Yeah. Leon is from the second game. He is a rookie cop who's now become embroiled in all this from the second game. And as a result, uh, he is now... Basically, he's got uh, trained up as like a spec ops guy. And we're here looking for someone. Now, I know who we're looking for because, again, I've heard a bit about this game prior to playing it. But if you are fully new to it, well, I'll be honest, I'm more or less new. I just kind of, I know roughly the person you're looking for and that it then takes place in a swampy village place <laughs> and that's about it but yeah 
we're here is like basically the super spec ops commando dude to investigate these missing person cases because one in particular is a very 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 important person The situation his situation is the zombies got him. <laughs> what was that? We're getting the gun tutorial. Right, our one, <laughs> our one mag of pistol ammo is nearly gone. It helped very little. They always do this in the Resident Evil games. The first gun you get, your starting pistol. So it was a door there as well. I knew it looked suspiciously door-like. But yeah, the starting weapon is always a pea shooter, like an absolute pea shooter. terrible piece of trash that has zero stagger to it does bugger all damage and you might as well just walk up and start punching them instead because they're so terrible yeah. right and that's who we're looking for the girl in the Bruce, photo we had. This is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. And now is I that? can stop feigning ing ignorance. So yeah. Nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. <laughs> That guy we avoided, uh, we didn't avoid him for long. <laughs> and he's brought his buddies. <laughs> right. And we're off. So. Yes, we're after the president's daughter. So we're essentially one of the president's bodyguards. And to my knowledge, now of course in in game it'll be you know just it's Mr. President, you know, not particular, you know, it's not anyone in particular. But yeah, I guess at the time it would have been Bush. Ah, so it looks like if it's a barrel we can break. We'll be able to walk up to it and kick it and it'll be painted yellow, so I won't have to be overly looking around the place. Well, before we do that, smash. You can save your progress at any typewriter. You can swap out weapons in your inventory via the storage menu. Uh, case perk. In increase drop rate for handgun ammo. Increase drop rate for pesters. So I think that's money. So we can either have extra money or extra... Um, Extra ammo, well, handgun ammo specifically. And charm, plus 30% handgun ammo craft bonus frequency. Left, center, or right. So we get charms. Okay, 
I honestly thought they were going to be like a cosmetic thing. So we need whatever that blue stuff is and all. I think we're fine though for now. Let's save the game. Thank God you don't have to, you know, go and gather ink ribbons and stuff anymore. I'll be honest, I was nervous about trying hardcore because I honestly thought that they were going to make me have limited saves or something, which I'm not a big fan of. Especially if I'm recording this because then I might need to, you know, I'll be wanting to drop saves uh, at the end of an episode just in case and that. And if it's going to prevent me doing that, well, you know. <laughs> but anyway, right. Yeah, I think after I've played this Resident Evil, the only one I've not then beaten will be Resident Evil 1. Um, though, to be fair, um, I did try the Resident Evil 1 remake. But it's not a proper remake. It's more just like a remaster, to be honest. It's more just they've spruced up the graphics a bit. It's still got those awful loading screens and still got all the terrible design ideas from back then. You kind of want them to modernise it a bit these days. Hello. Oh dear, um... Hey, it staggered him for once. That's rare. There's definitely a second, yep, guy. Thought something looked wrong about you, you git. Okay. I am now wounded and have two bullets left. <laughs> but hey guys, don't worry. I've 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 got like um money. Which uh You can restore health using herbs or first aid spray. The effects of herbs can be enhanced by combining them with other herbs. Red herbs will increase the amount of health recovered. Yellow increase your maximum health. Woo! Let's just use this. More weird symbols and stuff in the forest. Oh dear, there's bear traps. That looks like it might have been a tutorial one because it didn't actually hurt me. Oh shit. Okay. Make sure he doesn't get back up. Oh, thank God for that. We have bullets. Right. Okay. Uh, resources, gunpowder, and knives can be used to craft different items. Uh, the types of items you can craft can be increased by obtaining new crafting recipes. Yay. Craft. Now, does that do anything? No. It looked like something I'd have to turn to make something activate or something, but I guess not. A 
Okay, here we go. Oh. Lovely. Well, this doesn't board well. Uh, we don't have the ammo for this. We found the other cop. Shit. Oh, yeah. That is the bit. <laughs> Looks like I've got a bit of stick drift. Right. Probably don't want to fight all of those. We're gonna go and we're gonna lay low. Right. Can I? Stealth kill zombies. Yes, I can. Reload the gun. I do like that they model the one in the chamber. That's nice. Stealth. Subtlety. Uh oh. <laughs> they do hear that. Damn. <laughs> this is not good. Ah. Get back. How many are there then? I'm thinking that there's a fair few of them, isn't there? Yep, there's a lot of them. Attempting to hit them. Ah, uh, crap. Using a. Oh, so melee ch changes to a different button <laughs> when they're in the stun state. Right. Okay. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> I don't think I'm making it through this. I've got a sneaking suspicion that I am very, very, very dead. Right. New plan. New plan. We go in. We be way stealthier. Way stealthier. <laughs> and in being way stealthier we do not loot everything we see Shit. Oh. 
Damn. So a knife loses durability as well, it looks like. So we'll do more stuff. Okay. to the sound of breaking glass and boxes it would seem so he is guarding the exit and he's just staring down there so it looks like we can't exactly just sneak up and off him Hmm. There's a few around the town centre, well the, yeah, that sort of courtyard in the centre there. A few in the village centre. Hmm. Need two people to get in there. So I'm assuming we're going to find Ashley soon then and be able to... And suddenly they all know where I am. Expertly dodged. I would have expected like them to invest, so it's it's not really like a full-on stealth game then. <clears throat> if one notices you, they all notice you like it's a damn hive mind, right? I mean, I get like one person sees, they alert the others, yeah, but they would investigate where you were. And no, instead they're just all suddenly there. On the plus side, they're all using these axes up, aren't they? So, the thing is, I do not have the ammo for this, so... What I'm going to have to do is manically run around town looking for areas I could perhaps rush into. Really? And apparently they've got me, right, okay. Jesus Christ. Where the hell does they expect me to get the ammo from here, anyway? Get off. <laughs> that will work. One down. The whole town to go. And I've got bugger all health. Hmm. This will we'll heal. Yeah. 
Get him. And of course there's one behind me, because why wouldn't there be one already behind me somehow using magic? No, I pressed A. I don't know why you're saying I didn't. I definitely did. <laughs> Maybe if we just beeline to the exit. Or what I think is the exit. <laughs> Oh, there goes my knife. Uh... <laughs> I have absolutely no goddamn clue what it's expecting me to do about this. Right. I heard a bell. So do we just have to survive then? Is that the goal here? Right, I get it. Okay. We're not all horrible. We're not, we're not all horribly dead then. I think that we get subtitles for this when they're speaking Spanish, but apparently not. Hmm. Well, while they're in there, um, let's leave. And I think that's going to do it for the first episode. <laughs> oh, excellent. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and look for more ammo right now. Looks like there might be something back, back there that they dropped. Right. I'll see you later. And again, thank you very much for watching.